Hello everyone. Welcome to UiPath Tutorials. In the previous session, we have seen how to retrieve or how to retrieve 100 emails by using get IMAP mail messages activity. Now, in this session, we will learn how to move emails from one folder to specific folder by using move IMAP mail messages activity. Move IMAP mail messages activity is used to move these emails from one folder to the specific folder. Now, let me explain you a scenario. If you see on my screen that I'm having all emails that we got it. Now, what I have to do, all these emails, which I'm going to read by using get IMAP mail messages activity, I want to move to another folder that is UiPath. This is newly created folder which I want to move all these emails from inbox to UiPath. How can I go ahead and do that by using UiPath Studio? The solution is by using move IMAP mail message activity, where we can find this activity. Go to activities and then under app integration, you will find mail. Under email, you will find under IMAP. Under there, you will find move IMAP mail message activity. What it will say is moves an IMAP email message to a specific folder. Now, let me go to project. Let me click on the previous solution which we have created or previous bot which I have created. Now, if you see over here, if you see in the our previous session, we have read all the emails by using get IMAP mail message activity. Now, in this session, I want to move these emails by using move IMAP mail message activity. Let me go to activities. Let me drag and drop this activity onto the panel. For the time being only, I'm going to move it over here. I will explain you where to move later on. Okay, now first of all, we'll see the properties of the move IMAP mail message. We have already known the common property that is display name, another one port, server, we have seen already for the IMAP, what is the port? The port number is 993. And the server, we are using IMAP, right? So for that, imap.gmail.com. We have already seen this in the previous session. And also, we'll talk about this input later on. What is the email that we have? We have already seen, right, from which one? Learning technologies. 2020 at the rate of gmail.com, which I'm going to log in. Then what is the password? If you see the get password, we have already stored the password in, in the variable called set PWD. I'm going to use the same password. You can see over here, I'm going to set it set PWD. That is the password of this email ID. Now, if you see the options, I'm having secure connection that is auto. You can see these are all the secure connections we have seen earlier also. Now, we are going to talk about the input values. What are the from folder? Which folder? If you see in my email that I'm taking from the inbox, right? Inbox having three messages. Now, I'm going to take the same thing from folder inbox. And what is the uh, and what is the destination folder? We have seen this mail folder, right? Where what is that folder? That as I said, that is UI path. Now let me go to that folder. I'm just going to give it the name as UI path is the folder. And then you can see the mail message. So we will talk about this mail message in a couple of seconds. Okay. Now let me explain you what is the input folder inbox. I have to move the all the mails to the folder that is destination is UI path. So how can we go ahead and do that by using move IMAP mail message activity. Now let me save the bot. Now if you observe in our previous session, we have seen how to retrieve the emails by using get IMAP mail messages. Now in 100 mails that we have stored all the list of the you can see list of the mails we are having it. Now if you go to the variables, we can see that 100 emails list of mail message. Now, whenever I'm going to use this move mail, I have to give that mail message over here. You can't give list of the messages, list of mail messages. You have to give 
each and every individual mail how can we go ahead and do that for each right so that's the reason this move i map mail message i'm going to move this in for each activity and then you can see over here for each activity what i'm going to do you can see from the list of mails that i'm going to or each and every item that whatever we are having in the 100 mail we are going to store in item right now you can see the type of argument we have given as system.net.mail.message that is the same thing we are going to give it as an input over here what is the input over here that is nothing but item you can see the 100 mails i'm going to select one of the item uh, one of the mail and then i'm going to give it as a mail before that let me delete once again this item so that you will get an error over here you can see over here this is the warning one or more child have validation errors what is this error value for the required activity argument mail message what not supply that is nothing but this is the one i'm going to supply the item over here now my bot is ready now i want to give some more information over here like i'll just give some message box over here saying that moved mails successfully now my bot is ready in the previous session we have already seen how to you know enable the imap also right we don't want to do over here because we have already done it and even we have seen uh, you know less secure apps we have used a status as on now let me show you the input over here once again in my mails in the ui path i don't have any mails over here the count is zero over here now let me go ahead let me run the bot the bot execution started and you can see count of 100 emails three you can see over here in the inbox there are 300 miles right let me go ahead let me click on ok now this actual uh, you know bot running started running and you can whenever you are going to refresh it you can find it out this count over here and you can see all the mails has been moved successfully let me click on ok now let me refresh again and you can see in the ui path the count is three and you can see over here the count is three when you click on that all the mails have been moved to ui path that is the folder from inbox to ui path this is how we are going to move the mails from one folder to another folder by using move imap mail message activity i hope you understand how to use this thank you for watching ui path tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.